I was right. The 50mm 1.4 Zek lens has now been announced and I did make a call early on that they are making this lens for the 50mm line, link in the video right here. So I'm pretty much pleased on how Canon has announced this new trilogy era lens of the Z lenses where they're all basically having the click aperture ring blades that you can now manually change this thing. Video centric wise, it's perfect. Photo wise, it does the same thing what more do you want in these systems? So hi guys, my name is Roderick and I'm a freelance videographer here in Malaysia shooting many events, videos and highlights and sometimes you see me on YouTube. So in today's video, I want to share to you on what I think of the announcement for the Canon new Zek series lens lineup covering from the 70 to 200 IS Zek lens and then coming in from my very own first generation 24 to 105 f 2.8 USM Zek IS lens. I will talk to you in details about what I think about this lens and of course covering the primes. So now we have primes, okay? We have the 35, we have the 24, and we have the 50 primes. Wow, what a world we are in right now. Did you know that I love having this 24 to 105 the USM Zach IS lens? And not for the reasons that you think is obvious. I really do like it that I can go all about telling Sony shooters that, hey, I have this spectacular lens and you don't. And they're like, oh man, I feel like switching to Canon. Until Sigma announced 28 to 105 f 2.8 at literally one third the price. That's insane. I've cried in my heart looking at that price. But again, having said that, I'm truly stoked that Canon has indeed put out their own RF line of Zek lenses that we can now see. The complete collection all the way as wide open as 24mm up to 200mm and this is the Zek series lens that they are now announcing. What I think of it? Good job Canon! This is so exciting news for people like us who occasionally want to shoot cinema or in fact have very high request requirements when it comes to doing both hybrid, photo and video for our video or photo business. Now having all this Canon lens, I will give you my thoughts on why I love this Canon lens and what are my major concerns when it comes to lenses like this. The first concern, let's look at the build quality. What happened to these lenses as opposed to the EF line series lens, you get a really nice tough metal build, but these, these are plastic. These aren't really metal. I personally don't feel comfortable renting this out or even loaning it out to someone that is not close to me. This lens is so prone to damaging it. I have not used this lens extensively just yet and I've already scratched the notch here. And if I were to use my fingernails and I draw a line, you can literally see there are damages you can visibly see on the coatings of this plastic. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. It doesn't feel premium like those EF lines where they are really rock solid. It just seems like this is just a plastic with coating that eventually, if you try really hard, you can scratch this. Again, I can literally see visible scratch marks just by using my fingernails. Don't like that at all. What I do like in this lens, it's a lot. We're talking about a great, great option lens. We're looking into the D-click aperture. I know some people do weather reporting and guess what? Weather reporting is one of those things that does change in lighting because especially in Malaysia, right? There's so much precipitations in the air. There's so much cloud coverage. One second ago, if you, if you look at this sample video that I shot, you can literally see the cloud would just cover in this guy's face. And then one moment, the cloud would just go away and the sun is beaming right in his forehead, it's blowing out his forehead. And then it's covered again and it's so dark and depressing. It looks like he lost somebody in this interview and it's supposed to be an interview, right? So I would say that having this D-click system would appreciate the art of you manipulating the lighting a little bit fair bit more easier comparing to you actually stopping down digitally where you can actually see that big ISO drop changes when you're doing such things. It's supposed to be a more seamless kind of way that you will change the exposure of your image, right? Now, moving into like what I think of it for photo and video. These lenses are amazing. They are sharp. They are so sharp. Like if they follow the route of 24 to 105, very sharp at 24, 
all the way up to 105 with no drop off in terms of sharpness, wide open at any of these ranges, phenomenal. You have solved the age long problem of what I would think like every lens has a fault in them. Be it being too close, it's soft, be it too far, it's soft. You know, a lot of these older lenses, especially at the tail end of the focal range, they tend to become soft, not for the 24105. I am hoping that the 7200 would behave the same way. And I'm really hoping that it will perform or even outperform the RF 70-200 the 2.8, the regular one, you know, having that Zac is an upgrade to that lens. I really do hope that's true. And in terms of the primes, I have no example of primes that I have in my possession. I only have the 24105. I would strongly suggest you checking out other YouTuber reviews about it before making the purchase. But looking into the future, that's great. 24 1.4, 50 1.4, and 35 1.4. Gosh, damn it. And they even managed to keep the size of these lenses almost approximately the same. That's going to be good for video work, for balancing and for shooting. That's amazing. They literally use cinema world qualities into hybrid photo video lenses. Amazing stuff. So there we go, folks. I really do appreciate you checking out these lenses. I'm only here sharing to you my excitement and the future of the Canon Zek series lenses. Thank you so much for watching. And before you go, there is a free guide on how do you shoot an event video guide pamphlet that I created that you can actually download off from the link in my comment section below. All you gotta do is just subscribe to the channel, like and comment down below, and I'll send you that guide for free. Check it out, guys. I'll catch you again in the next vid.